All right, we just got to the temple last time, and I'm super excited to get in there and check it out. But first things first, I need to make sure that there is nothing around the border. So, pardon me while I make my rounds. I guess never mind. There are no rounds to be made. <laughs> Let's jump on in there. We left our uh, friend from an ancient times. Climbing the stairs before us, so what do we got here? No way. A part of me thinks that's gonna be him. Like it's a bird, but you know, ancient mumbo jumbo crazy magic. Who knows what it could be? If nothing else, I'm really getting the hint that uh, this is our boss. So let's see what he is about. Or she, I guess it could be a she. All right, we are gonna start by focusing. We're gonna hit ourselves with the Delta Shield. And we're going to increm on Vice, even though at this point, uh, a part of me is starting to think that, uh, oh wait, I don't have to always spirit charge. Don't just focus with Drachma anymore. Kind of a pointless, uh, pointless move in comparison. Gotta charge his key like a freaking Dragon Ball Z character. Oh boy! Feather Slash! That's a lot of damage. Luckily, we're uh, starting off with a lot of uh, a lot of points to spend. Alright, Vice. We need you to come through with some big damage. I almost think maybe the Skull Shield isn't a bad option, but I think it's only for physical attacks, and I don't know if that feather thing quite counts. I want to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to regret wanting to try it. And I'm going to have to upgrade from the Sakri to the Sok Res. Although... I think it would be better to use the items for this since it won't use up our number counter in the top corner. Alright, we've beefed up Vice. Fina didn't take any damage last time. But Ika did. And Drachma, Drachma is just fine. And we're going to continue with this spirit charge again. Defend our cause! All right, Skelebro, do your shit. Let it count. And again, that's really only going to matter if the enemy even attacks Vice. Let's try this. We're definitely not going to be topping off here, but Let's try this. at least take the hurt off a bit. I'd really prefer if they choose to attack Drachma more. Drachma's got those HP points for days. Fina, on the other hand, has got none of that. Alright, and it looks like our Skull Shield did nothing, so we can still Cutlass Fury. The Delta Shield didn't do anything last time either. Although, she can use a lot of her magic points. What do we get? I think we can... Need to make sure on what that does. Uh, prevents targets from casting any spells. Uh, this one. We aren't going to be running from battles. But maybe a quicker vice has some, has some help he can do. Alright, Fina and Vice are the ones that are hurting. Fina, give yourself a sock res. And Brachma, you can help Vice out. Moves, give me strength. Uh, uh. 
All right, let's see what kind of done. What kind of damage that gets done? A thousand doesn't seem like much, but it, it wasn't bad. Although I am really needing to get on the healing of Fida. Holy cow, she is low on health. Even that thousand, like we could do that and still hit her with a Sakuri. Alright, we got a bit of points to work with. I know I want to use Cutlass Fury. Huh. I guess we will use a basic Sakuri on Fina. We'll also... Eh, it's really not worth it to have her guard. She can take a hit. So the focus game just seems to be a little bit better. Honestly, I should have realized this was going to lead right into a boss fight. I didn't even think of it. I thought we were going to get... I suppose what I thought is we were going to meet the guy and he was going to give us some story, lore, tell us about the history of his people, and then there was going to be a boss fight after that. I didn't think we were going to jump right into the boss fight. Man, that is such a powerful attack. I think the only way that could be even more annoying is if it hit everybody. But right now, it's a, it's a firm line, and our allies are broken up in such a way that they can't not target somebody who's going to be weaker on the scale of taking that damage. Fina. And Fina, you're going to hit yourself with a Sakri. And still, I need to keep up on Vice. I think I need to give Vice another Increm too. I don't see a red arrow by our name. Did I not give him an Increm originally? Let's try this. I don't know. I see a blue arrow, and maybe that's our, maybe that's from our Increm. But I think that would be from our Quicka, because that was also a light blue skill. And sleeping absolutely this sucks. Gonna have to wake him up and boost him. So there goes two people's turns right there. Let's try this. I think I have a few items that can boost Vice. I don't know if I have any that can heal him. But right now I am gonna try to build those points up as much as possible to hit them hard in a bit. Rizalem. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Curia. Uh, cures all adverse effects. That should wake Vice up. Boost the spirit. I don't know if that's what I want. Glyph of speed. Wasn't there like a glyph of power? Do I not have any? Glyph of Might, there it is. So let's try that. And while we're at it, I want to see what this Aura of Valor will do. I think this will just increase my points to work with. But if that's what it does, that's not a bad thing. That means one less turn I probably have to spend trying to build my points up. Alright, that worked. This is gonna hurt, but should be able to take it for a turn. This should work. Ah, that is exactly what that did. And holy cow, we have got all of the points to work with. Glyph of Might. I think that... Oh my god, it missed. Can I not boost anyone's power? Alright, Cutlass Fury. Oh, jeez. Um, Alright, well, we can move over to using our magic now that we have points for it. Sock res on Fina. Because she might not be fast enough. 
to heal herself. Vice? Let's try the tackle. We've got the points for it. Let's see if the tackle really does the damage. Hopefully everybody can uh, heal themselves topped off. We're doing pretty good. We're, we're keeping our head above water, but we did just cross that halfway point. So if there's going to be a serious change up to the enemy's battle system, it's going to start coming out around now. Move! Give me strength! And I do have to wake Drachma up. I don't think it took the points since he wasn't able to follow through on his attack. Alright, and I don't know what I'm using items with Vice for. We can still cut with Fury. Oh, man. Do I want to heal Ika? I really, really hope I don't come to uh, regret not healing Ika. Alright, let's heal Drachma. And let's try this one more time in Krem on Vice. Let's try this. Maybe it's maybe the up arrow is just hey your stats are up in general. And it won't be two different color arrows. Although I seem to recall it might be. And now the Drachma's up, hopefully he can still get his tackle off next turn. Alright, our big bird is starting to uh, to slump over. So we're getting close. Yeah, see it is a red up. Maybe we just missed the other times and I didn't pay attention to the first time. Oh, we've got this. This turn is the turn. Cutlass Fury. Now they can actually afford to defend and hopefully that'll ease the hurt from a uh, from a feather shot if they do that or whatever they called it. I think this is the round. I think this is the one where we uh, pull it through. If Drachma's Tackle does anything similar to the Cutlass Fury, we'll be in a good spot. That extra 400 damage really mattered. Alright, well he's hurting now, so the Tackle might not be as effective, but uh, let's see what it does. That, that extra 400 we got out of Vice kind of made up for the loss in, I think, what we would have done with that tackle due to the debuff. So it evened out, and that definitely helped us uh, close that fight on that turn. Man, those numbers, they're getting big. And I don't think there's very many green spells left to learn. So we're getting somewhere on that. Well, it looks like the crystal is probably sealed in here. Ooh. Hey, everyone, look over here. The person on this wall, that looks like Fina. I mean, pretty loosely. But I kind of see where you're coming from. Eh, you're right. I wonder if this is that Quetcha the villagers were talking about. We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon. Fina? Oh, I, I was putting a bit uh, more emphasis on that than I should have. We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon have sealed within the forests after the rains of destruction washed away the lands the unsleeping giant Grendel and upon his sealing the green crystal was kept within these walls this is written in the holy language of the silver temple the Silvites must have inscribed these words when they were here these 
are the ruins of Ixataka, right? Why would Sylvites come here? The rains of destructions nearly destroyed the green civilization. But even after the rains fell, Grendel still terrorized the lands for many generations to follow. The Sylvites came here to contain him. So the Sylvites are the ones that kind of sealed everything away at the end? But they came too late. The green civilization was destroyed, and the people were reduced to a few primitive tribes of scavengers. The people from that village probably thought the Sylvites were gods because they were able to contain Grendel. It all makes sense now. That's why they thought Fina was this Quetia person. But it says the green crystal is kept within these walls, right? But I don't see the crystal anywhere. I wonder where it is. You're right. It should be here. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> He's still trying to run away. Drachma, why weren't you on that earlier? That's a pretty cool skill of his. Oh my god, I wonder if it would look the same if we had different items equipped. D do the different gears he wear, could that have changed? Could that have been a, been a spinning energy hook? Sorry, I just got completely distracted there. Don't let him get away. He might have the crystal. <laughs> Vice is on this. Dude, you are not getting away. We just like sonic slip shoot our way all the way down that thing. This would have been around the time that uh, those would have been a thing. I think the slip shoes or the soap shoes, whatever they called them. So this is the ghost. Who are you and why are you following us? Please, please don't kill me. I, I'm a high priest of Ixataka. A high priest? So you followed us all the way from Horteca? No, I I didn't follow you. I've been here for a long time. It is my duty to guard these ruins. If anyone tries to steal the loot, if anyone tries to to loot what's in these ruins, I, I don't know why I put the word steal in there, <laughs> or steal the sacred green stone, I contact King Ixataka. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that the king knew where the lost city was all this time? Yes. We figured out Isapa's Is riddle and found Rixus. And here we found the sacred green stone. The king and Isapa were very happy because we could use the stone to stop the Valuans. Stop the Valuans? You're not going to... Oh, and again, they're releasing the, the old sleeping beast. Tell us, or do you want me to crack your skull? So he's definitely got his original hand there. It's not, it's not the one I thought it was. All right, all right, I'll tell you. The king and Asapa said that the sacred green stone had the power to awaken the giant. If the giant were to come, he would chase the Valuans back to the eastern skies and we'd be safe. <gasps> I, I'm sorry, you what? The ancient being that nearly destroyed you long ago, you're gonna awaken because you think you can control him this time? Isapa, now that you are free and the Valuans are busy looking for Vice and his friends, we can summon the mighty giant. Awaken, giant of the fortress. I, who hold the sacred green stone, command you to destroy our enemies. All right, Max, calm down. Didn't work in, uh, didn't work in the Pokemon games. It's not going to work here. 
I don't even know what the other uh, team leader's name was, Team Aqua. Vice, please forgive us. There is no other way for us to save the forests and people of Ixataka. At least he kind of looked regretful for what he's about to, to do. I suppose one possible interpretation is shit hit the fan before, but a few survived. So shit can hit the fan here and maybe a few will still survive. And maybe he's in the mind that the Valuans will destroy everybody. It's the best I can give him. <laughs> What's that rumbling sound? Oh no. Not again. Yes, yes again, and this time from an ally, not an enemy. Someone is summoning Grendel. I thought that was Vice, my bad. Not that I'm giving different voices, I don't know why I'm apologizing for it. I'm barely able to give different inflections on the voice. Look, over there. So King Ixataka was hiding the crystal from us after all. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. All I have to do is take the crystal from him and the Empress will be pleased. Awaiting, awaiting orders, Admiral. Oh, and I heard that you were injured in the mines. Are you all right, sir? I don't ever want to hear you speak of those minds again, understand? All ships, prepare for battle. Follow my flagship, the Cygnus. Head towards the light and find King Ixataka. Looks like Broly charging up there. I think we got a little bit of a kind of hint view earlier of this character. Although I'm thinking maybe those outlines we got have nothing to do with the actual creatures being summoned. I seem to recall it looking a little different. I don't know, maybe we did get the right outline, just a, uh, a different angle. That thing looks pretty cool though. I'm digging it. I like it a lot more than the uh, the walking fortress before, which was cool. I like the laser beam thing, but I don't know. There's something a lot more kaiju feeling about this guy. Blast! Retreat! We cannot get past the Gigas. But. But sir, the battle hasn't even started yet. Why are you questioning my orders? I refuse to die in these filthy lands. All ships return to Valua at once. Well, at least he knows generally not to fuck with the big green dude. I was totally joking when I put the... Uh, I don't know if I stuck with it. I think I might have put something different there. Originally, I wanted to use the green giant, you know, the the grocery store green giant guy, uh, as a, as a joke for when we when we mentioned the giant Gigas before. Oh God, I don't remember if I did that. Didn't even think I was calling it like that though. Why would they awaken him? Don't they understand that the entire Valuan Armada will retaliate against them? Everyone, back to the Little Jack. We have to stop that thing. Well, uh, Vice, you're not wrong, but also, I need to stop off on our way back anyways. I forgot a fish, and I am not leaving without that fish. Even if I have to restart and fight that boss again. Probably not, but I'm gonna say it that way anyways. Is that the king's ship? 
sacred giant. Destroy our enemies. Chase them from our lands forever. Oh, that's right. He does get to give in order. Well, it looks like Grendel's awake. A Admiral DeLoca, the experimental Moonstone Cannon is ready. Looks like it's time for me to test out my newest weapon. Target King Ixataka's ship. What? Sir, you're not going to fire at the Gigas? The Gigas only follows the commands of the person holding the crystal. So if we destroy the king, the Gigas will be defenseless. This is what happens when you cross me. Fire the Moonstone Cannon! Ah, uh, guess it's a good thing that was just a glancing shot. Ah! Well, their ship is likely going down. Or not? How did it hold up to that? Wake up! Wake up! This is not good. You passed out. We must retreat! King Ixataka was controlling the Gigas. Until he wakes up, it's gonna destroy everything in its path. Couldn't you just be the one holding the green stone now? God, there's something super creepy about this. But in just the right way. I love this Gigas. It's a little bit of like Evangelion uh, to its giant size as well. Is there something up with the hands? Well, I guess that counts as something up. The hands are just itching to destroy. Or not? It seems like it doesn't want to. <laughs> so close. It looks like there's still more fine tuning to be done. I'm sure Vice has seen the Gigas, and he's probably on his way right now to try and save everyone. Be ready for him. Sir, a ship has been spotted off port side. He's here. He's here. I've been waiting for him. This isn't the the cat the guy anymore. <laughs> He's here. I've been waiting for this. Well, Vice, it's time to die. Wait till you feel the power of my Moonstone Cannon. You should feel honored that you are helping me test my greatest creation ever. All right, and uh, we are going to continue into the fight with Grendel and DeLoco next time. So, uh, hope to see you there, and have a good one.